Come on, folks. We have tonight. All right, who knows what's going to happen tonight? It's going to be... Good evening, Johnny KK. Oh, it's oh, oh. <laughs> strange that you asked. So I, why did I bring that up? I know there, I know there's a full moon, and that's what happens. Did you that's notice there's a full moon out oh, tonight? Yes, I can feel it. Well, that's the way it goes. Oh, Johnny, I feel so good. <laughs> What's going on around here? It's the full moon. All right. Anyway, we have uh, Vicky Carr with us tonight. Bert Muston. Uh, who am I leaving out? Ann Turkell and this gentleman, a dear friend, really. And um, on Friday, November 14th, he's going to have another shot at immortality. They're going to, they're going to give him a special on another network, and uh, NBC is countering that uh, show with something entertaining. Uh, he's also going to host right here, the week of when? October the 13th, I believe. Would you welcome this year's poster child for rabies, Don Rickles. <laughs> And he give him a solo, he goes bananas. <laughs> How you feel, Louie? I spoke to Pearl, she's fed up. <laughs> <laughs> Do I need straps? <laughs> okay. Look at your notes and let's get it over with. <laughs> Who needs notes? Oh, We've known it's each good other to see so you, John. Long. Really, I, it really We've not seen each other. And uh, we haven't for at least been? four or five months. Yeah, it really has. So, not you know, my career has been... Mm, but it's uh, nice to see you again, But John. you're doing a big special. Yeah, we are, uh, November 14th. Mm -hmm. And uh, for CBS, every network takes a shot at That's it. That's right. Uh, <laughs> you, you, we feel the public is wrong, and we're going to prove it. <laughs> we keep trying, and uh, Dave Tebbett and Bob Wood and Freddie Silverman, they all sit together and go, what are we going to do with the Jew? What are we going to do? <laughs> You know, and one black guy in the hall goes, I know what to do with him. <laughs> you got a problem? No, no, I just... Uh, this, this, uh... You use this thing. For how long have you been using that? Isn't that the call to the, uh... The bull for the bulls, fight. the bullfighter? Right, right that a boy. You get another one right, and you'll go on, hit the music, and win a gun. <laughs> That's right. Gee, Johnny, I never saw you this alert, really. Uh, by the way, I saw Joanna in the fashion show. Your wife, you remember yeah. Joanna? Eight by ten? Yeah. Well, come on. Uh, she's sitting home now in the estate going, I hope he brings the check. <laughs> anyway, uh, when he met her, she went under the name of Laverne Laverne. <laughs> the dove died, she, you know. She was... Uh, <laughs> I said the dove died, and, jo uh, and Doc sits here going, I want the job. Give me a break. I want the job. <laughs> Tell him what you told me, how fed up you are filling in for everybody. <laughs> Be like this guy here. When God gave out personalities, he skipped them. <laughs> how do you feel, Tommy? Had a boy. I spoke to the clinic. You're doing great. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see the guys in the band. The shipment will be in Friday. <laughs> <laughs> they believe you. <laughs> the one trumpet player went, he knows about it? <laughs> what have you been doing since I've seen? I know you've been with the New Hearts, you went on another vacation. Well, you always go on vacation with the New Hearts. Well, it, life doesn't seem, uh, it seems like a big vacation, but really, uh, <laughs> what's does. happened is, by the way, I must say, my mother's been under the weather, so that's... Uh, I heard taking, that. I hope she's she taking, watching. Yeah, and I, not to bring the show on a level, that, uh, thank God she's pretty good, but uh, she's in Mount Sinai on Miami uh, Beach. And, Edda, we hope you get better Thanks, soon. John, and she loves you, and uh, I said, Mom, I'd mention, I said, hi, Mom, and I spoke to her, and she uh, sits in oxygen, you know, she really? has that uh, uh, a, a sad disease, emphysema. So when I sit by the bed, I said, Mom, see, the family, see, with our families, with every family, when we get older, we all have, my mother has great drive, and everybody likes to say, how does she look to you, you know? So Barbara and I arrived in Miami, and I said, Mother, 
And the doctor said, Don, mom's gonna be okay, but you know, she doesn't look great, you know, but don't tell her that. Now, my two aunts meet me in the hall and go, wait till you see her. <laughs> now, they love my mother, don't misunderstand. But the Jewish families all sit by the bed and go, oh, she looks so bad. You know? <laughs> so I walked in, I said, mom, you look great. And she went, honest to God. <laughs> And she got out of the bed and started to do the tango. Uh, I wish. But well, uh, she's coming along fine, and she watches this. Uh, she's staying up, especially tonight, uh, to watch the show. She watches this uh, very often to doze. Uh, <laughs> well, we all have something when we get older. Watch that. But she loves you, and she remembers yeah. the good days when we first we came on the show. And, uh, and to this day, isn't it odd that, uh, Doc, uh, I look at you so you feel you're part of it? Uh, you look like a bad couch salesman, you know what I mean? Anyway, uh, when you get a substitute, find a guy. He did, this isn't his thing, you know. His thing is sitting home going, <laughs> you're gonna die That's like right. that. They're gonna put you in a casket. <laughs> so, uh, my, what was I saying? I don't have the slightest idea. It doesn't matter. You're dressed up in your Filipino suit. This is good if you live in the islands. But uh, we, uh, we, we, we remember when I first came, yeah. and to this day, nervousness, what I say? To this day, I come on your show, and you know. You don't get nervous anymore. Well, I remember I the very first night you were on the show, actually. And you were the white knuckle, remember? Yeah, oh, sure. Kidding. We'd known each other. You know, seen each other in, in clubs and so forth. Yes, socially. We did. Oh, did we ever? <laughs> when you said to me, we didn't that again. Okay, Johnny now that's true. Drink, that's she true. doesn't drink anymore. That which is we true. Must say. And, and I, I, and the time I, I saw do. you, you were a little overweight and running around saying, Psst, "Little girl." Right. Right. And, uh, <laughs> you know, remember that? <laughs> remember her, right? We, let's put it this way: we were both in heat. Uh, <laughs> But, but now we're both happily married. Absolutely. You went through a couple of warm-ups, but uh, <laughs> now the only I went to the main event. See, I didn't go for the certificate. I went with many young ladies. <laughs> you, like a dumbbell from the Midwest, went, where, where do I sign, Alvin? <laughs> you, you better believe that. <laughs> You, you better believe that. I, I, I get to visit the hack at Hassock every other Thursday. Go to look at the front of you. Anyway, let's don't talk about that. No, I got news. The reason we can talk about those things is because you, John, you know, this is a great pressure game. You know, I'm, uh, you've asked me, uh, and Freddie DeCovita, DeCovita, and Peter LaSalle. Peter Godiva. The, the guys, you know, and because of you, have asked me to uh, host for a week while you're gone on another one of your great tours around the world, you know. <laughs> His lovely wife isn't here tonight. She's packing. <laughs> no, uh, no. She gets up in the morning going, where are we going, John? Pakistan. Do you I know never the, heard of it. Do you know the first time I was ever out of this country? It was three, four weeks ago? Yeah, and you I weren't had... missed. Uh, <laughs> actually, actually. I never, I hardly ever travel. I know you don't, because, I, and I have a great statement about that, because my Can family, we hear it? it's, a, it's a classic. My family says, my mother says, Boulder Dam and the Colorado River, it's America. <laughs> what do you need, Europe? Because you got money? <laughs> and the doctor's going, she's alive! <laughs> because it's true, we have a great country and That's we all, true. when we get a few bucks, well, you, you're beyond that. Uh, you are a, a man that, you, but surprisingly, because of being uh, well educated, you went to the University of Nebraska, right? I finished there, yes. Yes, and you. What did the meters say? That was a four. Could we go on now? Now, anyway, you studied bad corn. And, uh, he, uh, no, Jerry Taggy went to the University of Nebraska. That's right. And he's now sitting at home going, punt, punt, punt. Uh, that's a football uh, joke. He's a quarterback. I know, I know who he cut, is. Unfortunately. I know Good. that. I often wonder what's in there. Oh, hello, folks. Just a cigarette. Vicky Carr's coming out. Cool it. That's right. Anyway, uh, <laughs> what are you, a seal? Anyway, uh, got a broad applauding for cigarettes. <laughs> Talking about traveling. You travel all the time. You've been more places than I have. Not really. Yes, well, you I have. Have. You've See, been we to went Italy. On our to You've Europe. been to Mexico. You've been. Uh... Mexico is beautiful. I really love right. Mexico. You went there again with the New Hearts? Yes, I went with the New Hearts. Well, is that a package was... deal you get or what? No, no. The New Hearts. <laughs> the New Hearts will live in hell. Oh, I see. I didn't... Uh, <laughs> he comes in and says, Oh, you want a breakfast? <laughs> uh, and he's not even Japanese, That's but right. he's an idiot. Of course. Uh, but uh, 
We went down to Mexico, and it's great in Mexico. The, unfortunately, uh, the Presidente and the country, they, with all economic problems today, you don't have those problems. You have a big ranch with one horse going, hi, Doc. <laughs> uh, and Johnny, you don't have to worry about that at all. You just sit up in Bel Air and say, it's your serve, Harold. <laughs> Uh, we people have to work, you understand? That's why I'm on this, for the 350 to cover the new room we're going to put on the house. 320. 320. <laughs> it's 350 for me, otherwise I leave. But uh, go to the commercial and be charming. Oh, sure. Okay, okay. we'll do this. Don't be nervous. Just All right, wait. I'll do my best. And you're getting grayer. And you're getting balder. I know that. Yes. But you're older. And I spoke to the clinic, you have tops a year. <laughs> Look at the way the band went. Yeah. Now, now you're loved. We're gonna come right back. Oh, really? Uh, hello there, Daddy. Kiss my kumquats. Well, <laughs> after this message, I think. Zumba, zumba, We are back. Hey, guys. Vicky Carl's with us, Andrew Kell, Bert Mustin, and we're really good friends. You know, people, strangely enough, you'll hear oohs and ahs once in a while, and. I think we're good friends, right? Well, I got news. That doesn't sell, though. If we came out and I was kind of <laughs> kind to you, I mean, three guys in Oklahoma would go, shut them off, the dummies are getting nice to each other. You know. Yeah, you're right. So let's tell it like it is. You annoy me. <laughs> because I, they don't want to know our oh, personal right. problems. Actors, isn't it the truth when you establish an image? You establish an image. Your image has always been America. I mean, there's never any problem. Bob Hope, you know, gets up in the morning. Right. And they hoist him on the pole, and the white Dolores goes, da 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 I mean, that's America. Each one does his own thing. Not that Bob isn't a great American, you know, unless you heard something. No, no. Uh, but uh, everybody, you know, has their thing. My right. thing has always been the heavy, the bandit. You know, I've always loved you, you know. But you played motion pictures even before you I've became... I've always loved him? Yes. You played motion pictures before you became well-known on television. I saw you the other night in a submarine picture. Yeah, Run Silent, Run Deep. Run Silent, Run Deep. Yeah, that was my, that was my claim to fame. The, the best thing that ever came out of that was knowing Clark Gable. Yeah, with Clark was, Gable, uh, there was... He was a great man, rest his soul. But, I mean, uh, though, uh, see, acting, when you... Do a little Gable. You used to do a little Gable. Well, I'm not Rich Little, you know. I know that. And I'm not Frank Gorshin, you know. I know that. I'm me. I know that. It's starting to get to me. Yes. But, uh... Gable said to me, this is the, this is the, this is the truth. Uh, Gable said to me one night, we sat, Jack Warden, who I adore, I don't see too fine often, actor. but he's a fine actor. Jack Warden asked me to come in the dressing room one night. He said, Gable wanted to talk to you. And, uh, you know, when you said Gable in those days, I, I complete, to this day, if, if the good Lord put it, there's certain people you're in awe of. Right. Even, I'm sure you, Jack Benny rest his soul, you yeah. weren't always in awe of Jack. Right. So when uh, Gable walked in the room, I, I said, uh, Mr. Gable, he said, call me Clark. I said, well, sir, I just want to say it's a great treat to be in this film with you. He said, I want to tell you something, kid. You know something? You're crazy. You pick on people. But remember, what you do, the world's going to jump on you. And when they do, do what Gable does. Take a belt of booze, look up and say, hey, God, I'm doing my best. Remember. <laughs> That's pretty much, pretty much the truth, because right. we all have to take a stand. You know, I go on this show many times, and I'm always jumping on you right. and so forth, and people expect I that. don't mind And I you really do. I do want to jump on you, because I have many, many problems. <laughs> I, I married 10 years, and I got a great wife. And last night, you know, the erector said, I got a little excited. So I said, pussy cat. <laughs> and she put a bowl of milk under the bed. I said, <laughs> And we just laid there and hummed for about a half hour. <laughs> Marriage isn't all sex, right, John? What? <laughs> There's more to it. There really is. And I'm trying to find out what, what it is. Uh, but we love each other, and we're very, very happy. We're married now 10, ten years. years. How long are you married? <laughs> oh, unfortunately, you had some bad breaks, and you had some bad breaks. Well, your time You guys are jinx. I'll roll the dice again. <laughs> no. But you got to love. You just can't think it's... Hey, Shirley, here I am. You gotta do what I do. Open up your robe, stand on top of the bathroom and go, hello, world. <laughs> Let them know who you are. <laughs> get wild, get crazy. Well, the world Put gets... potchies on your lips, anything. The world's getting smaller all the time. It too. sure is. Yeah. That's a good comment. Here's a word. <laughs> You're a real dummy. You always were. From oil of Olay. <laughs> <laughs> the Comanches are in town. 